Hello, my name is Tani and today I'm reviewing the XP Pen Artist 12 pen display. This one is the smallest of their pen displays. Um, it has an active work area of about 26 by 14.8 centimeters and a resolution of 1920 by 1080. This one comes in four different colors. For example, I picked the color blue. The backside and the buttons are plastic on this version. It comes with eight uh, customizable shortcut keys on the front that you can customize according to your wishes. Uh, the tablet comes with everything you need, like the 3-in-1 USB-C cable with an HDMI connector. It has a cleaning cloth. It, has, it comes with a drawing glove, which is a really nice extra because it prevents your hand from getting sticky on the surface. Then the X3 stylus pen, an additional 10 pen nips and a little removal tool because you want to exchange your pen nips once in a while. So you have pretty much everything you need. So the first test I did was with Adobe Photoshop as it's the program I'm using most often for drawing. I have been drawing for about 20 years and I had more than six different graphic tablets of all sizes by Wacom. This was the first one by XP Pen, so it was really interesting to try something new. I tried it both on, a, on my PC and on a MacBook and it worked fine on both of them. You can use the pen display as a single monitor or you can use it as an independent display in a multi-monitor setup. So how does it feel to draw on it? The stylus pen, it's really light and it feels nice. It is very pressure sensitive. It has 8192 pressure levels, which is quite a lot. The pen also supports 60 degrees of tilt, which is great for shading. And it has also two buttons on top that you can customize. And the pen is also battery free. That means there is no need to charge the pen. The Artist 12 display is the smallest one of their pen displays. And the surface is fully laminated and it comes with a matte screen, which is almost paper-like. What is not included uh, with the tablet is a stand. However, you can order an optional stand uh, as accessory. There are those customizable eight shortcut keys on the front. For example, I usually have there a shortcut for the brush tool, the eraser, undo, saving, a lasso tool, zooming in, zooming out, so pretty much whatever you need. The package did not include an extra power supply. However, you can order an extra power supply in, in their shop. For example, you can also use the pen display on your iPad. And for that version, you would need that extra power supply. The pen display does not have any additional fans, so there's no cooling, but also no additional noise. From what I've tried, the tablet doesn't get too warm. I have also tried one of those mobile studios, which is a pen display and laptop in one device. Those are also really nice and have the advantage that you only have to take one device with you if you want to go drawing somewhere. On the other hand, of course, the device is getting warmer as it has the laptop included. It's heavier and it has the additional fan noise. So if you're a beginner or maybe you're on a budget, I think tablets like the Artist 12 is quite a good offer and a good start. You can get it for about between 200 and 260 euros, depending on if there's an offer. It's always a good idea to wait for something like this. The only thing I had to get used to a little bit was the size of the tablet because I'm usually drawing with a 24 HD graphic tablet by Wacom. So the size difference was definitely something I had to get used to. It was a little bit tricky at the beginning for me, but that's only because I'm used to a bigger tablet. If you are beginning to draw, 
even the small one is really a very nice option. And if it's your first tablet, I would definitely go for a pen display with where you can draw directly on the screen as it's just a lot more intuitive and also a lot more fun than a regular tablet. If you can afford it, I would probably go for a 16 inch graphic tablet. Of course, they also have larger tablets and they also have additional features like, for example, there are also 4K resolution versions. Some of them have a stylus wheel instead of only the hotkey buttons. Some of them come with a pen holder or a stand. Uh, some of them have multi-touch. So there are a lot of additional features. But of course, it also gets more expensive with the features and the size. And as you can see, the first picture in Photoshop is finished. So the second program I'm testing was Clip Studio Paint Pro, which is another art program I'm using once in a while. And also the, the drawing, the, the lines feel a lot different than in Photoshop. So especially for outlines, I enjoy using that program. And also here, the lines were really smooth. There was no lag and it felt pretty much at home. And it had pretty much everything that I expect from a good tablet and that I'm used to from a good tablet. For ending up this review, I'm talking about some of the things that are not included. For example, it didn't have a protection case for the tablet. There was no stand and no pen holder included. But as I said, this is the like the smallest of their tablets, like the low budget version for beginners and those who are on a budget. So you can also buy those items separately in the shop. So all in all, I'm really impressed with that tablet. And it's quite amazing that you get such a device for quite little money. This was my first review, so I hope you liked it and that I didn't screw up too badly. I will also put some more information on my website where I have some more information about the graphic tablets I used. So thank you for watching and keep on drawing.